Gentlemen, how are you? Divagant here with my remaster of my videos, but I'm adding a uh, number zero, uh, which is introduction to Valhammer Editor. Because there's a lot of people that don't know uh, what Valhammer Editor is, what's the difference between version 3.4, that's the one uh, my tutorials are about, and version 4, and so on. Well, uh, first of all, uh, Valhammer Editor is 3.4 attention on that, is uh, the program you use to modify or make maps for the cool Search engine, which is the Half-Life 1 engine, not to be mistaken with the Search, which is from Half-Life 2. Uh, well, uh, to get started, this is uh, basically your Half-Life folder. Uh, once you've extracted everything with the GFS scape uh, because the, the original f 51 files are completed, com uh, compressed, and decrypted, and you use this program to extract them. And uh, once you do, you end up with uh, the same files as the pirate version of f 51. That's the one I use to, to, to map and to mod, uh, because it's the same as Steam. All true, uh, I'm not uh, against piracy, but I do not uh, go for it. Please own the, the original version of Alpha F1 when doing this. Okay, guys? So basically, you got something like this. This is uh, your main folder, which HL.execute here, that's the game. And then you got three important, uh, an important folder, Valve. This is the folder you're gonna use the most. It's the original Alpha Life folder. Everything, other games like Nova, which is the mod I got, Agile Ops, which is my mod, Counter Strike, Blue Shift, are mods from Half-Life. They go to this folder, named Valve, and they start replacing uh, files from here. Basically, you're playing Half-Life, but with modded files. Each file on, on Blue Shift originally exists on, on Valve, and it replaces from the Valve folder. Uh, it's, it's too quick for you to notice, but when you open the game, originally it put up uh, Half-Life 1 and then replaces the background, replaces the menus, replaces the options, replaces the sounds, and starts replacing things. But originally, every mod you load, it starts by loading Half-Life 1. Um, so, this is Valve Armor Editor. I'm just gonna make a, a new one. Valve Armor Editor 3.4, which is for the Gold Search Engine, which is Half-Life 1. And this is the program we're going to use to, to make maps. Uh, I'm just going to open a random map. Uh, uh, my PC is in, is in Portuguese, but uh, if it's not not such a big deal. But if if you have problems with anything here, just leave a comment or free, free, feel free to ask me. My English isn't perfect either. So this is a, a map, in this case, uh, the textures are wrong. This is what you're going to do. This is a very big map I've made in quite a while. That's basically what you're going to do. Uh, what can you do with mapping in Half-Life 1? Well, you can change basically everything. Uh, Half-Life 1 is a great game because everything happens in-game. In the cutscenes, the, the beams, the, everything that happens in Half-Life is in-game including conversations with people, including uh, shootings and cinematic uh, stuff. Everything is done in-game. There is no video on Half-Life 1. And that's the beauty of it. So, uh, with every entity on Half-Life, you can do a bunch of things. You can create your own cutscenes, you can create scripted battles, you can make the soldiers start here and run all the way across the building and then spawn a giant monster here and make them fight each other and you can just stand and watch you can do everything in Half-Life, that's what I like the most in this engine <coughs> and that's what you're what you're going to learn with my tutorials uh, next one is how to configure Valve Armor, Valve Armor Editor in the in this remaster I'm going to, to explain also uh, how, to, how to configure for your own mod and stay tuned Thanks guys, I'm Divagant, see you later.